negativity and all the crap going on in your life, I know that this is kind of hard to believe, but it can be used as soil to grow great things out of. Again, you can use the situation in life that you feel stuck in as growth. You can use it as a stepping stone for growth. I've said for years now on this channel that obstacles in life are merely stepping stones for growth and that there's a lot of lessons contained in your obstacles. There's a lot of greatness that can come from these obstacles because hardships, ladies and gentlemen, can make you strong. They can make you humble. And humility is something that can be a very good thing in this crazy world where everybody seems to be just like trying to one up one another. So for all you know, the rut that you're in right now could be conditioning you to become a greater person. But oftentimes we focus so diligently on the problem that we can't find the solution. And yesterday I was helping my brother clean out his closet and I found an old computer from high school. And I think that computer, that laptop, that was in an old laptop bag, I think we got that in 2004, 2005, I can't remember. I was still in high school. And I hadn't used, but I heard something. I hadn't used that laptop in years. So I was like, holy shit, we still have the laptop. Let me plug it in, let me plug it in and see if it even loads. And lo and behold, it turned on. The screen was cracked and part of the pixels were all dead, but I was still able to navigate the the desktop or the you know the homepage and you know look at all my icons for the most part. And the background on my on the screensaver from back in the early, like mid 2000s or early 2000s was an icon or it was a, a picture and I can't remember exactly what it said, but it said something to the effect of the key to success in life is to put all the energy that you put into the problem into the solution. The key to success in life and happiness is to put all of the strength that you put into your problems into the solutions. So think about this. Think about this for a moment, you guys. Imagine if, if you're in a difficult situation in life and you start feeling negativity and this, that, and the other. Imagine if the momentum of that negativity, that knot that you feel is getting tighter and tighter. Imagine if all the mental and emotional effort that you would put into that problem, into the solution, with the same amount of vigor, with the same amount of energetic outburst, you name it. This is indeed one of the keys, you guys. Again, we don't want to try to solve our issues in life that we're going through with like, I don't want to say intellect, but in like, like, like we don't want to try to pick at our issues, at least in my opinion, forensically, where we try to understand why we're negative or we, we feel bad or this, that, and the other. Oftentimes we end up, and, and I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing, but I'm saying that sometimes the standard model of trying to fix a problem is like tinkering at it so much that it kind of makes it even worse. And I know that may be kind of hard to understand you guys, but when we tinker at problems and try to understand every minute detail like a detective, oftentimes we get lost in the details when there's a much more simple solution. And the solution that I like to teach is to learn to use the situation in life that you're stuck in or feel stuck in as fuel for growth, instead of trying to nitpick at it and try to understand every little minute detail and everything down to the foundation and beyond, we utilize that as a stepping stone. We thank it and we use it as a platform to move on to the next step in life. I hope that makes sense. Oh.